All right, guys, so you already know we got serious when I brought up the Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, so in this video, it's going to be a recap of the fragrances I got in March. Um, a few of these fragrances I got in trade um, or just pick them back up. So this is just going to be classifications of what I got. So the hidden gems that I got, the ones that surprised me the most, um, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the oldie. Uh, so this is a classic fragrance that came back into my collection. This is going, well, that just came in my collection. This is gonna be Declaration by Cartier. So, one of those fragrances in the opening has a rough fragrance. Just the, uh, it's a very spicy fragrance. Um, one of those that you, you just gotta smell it out in the air, don't smell it straight on your skin. Definitely not gonna like it, but uh, very nice pickup for March. Next one is gonna, and especially with the, you know, the season's changing, it's gonna get warmer. Um, for you guys, it's probably already warmer here in Buffalo. We're even expecting snow in a few days. So we're not even close to that. <clears throat> Next is going to be a fragrance that I got rid of early on in my collection, brought back into my collection. This is gonna be Gucci Guilty Poor Ohm um, EDP. See if you guys can even see that. So I hated this fragrance, absolutely hated it when I first got it about a year, maybe two years ago. Now it's a really good fragrance. Um, the one that is in this video, which this fragrance reminds me of the Gucci, but it's more like a niche take on this fragrance. It's going to be Midnight Gold by Mancera. So another nice fragrance, pretty much same DNA, just the niche version of it. So if you have one and have the other, it's pretty redundant to own both. I'm happy with both. But uh, if you're not looking to have any redundancy, then just avoid having both of them. Um, a cheapie, the only cheapie I got in March, is going to be Habit Rouge Lin Stomp by Guerlain. So this fragrance, I believe it was like 30 maybe $35, but smells way higher price than what it actually is. Um, this is the 50 mil. I didn't think I was gonna need the 100 mil. I'm not sure exactly how much the 100 mil runs, but I'm really happy with the 50 mil. Um, I've worn it to work a few times. Uh, it lasts about the eight hours. So it lasts about a work amount, you know, a, a work hour, work hours, but um, if you're expecting something that is very loud um, and lasts way more than eight hours, then that's not the fragrance for you. Really good work fragrance, everyday fragrance, in my opinion. Next is the hidden gem of this month. Um, definitely a hidden gem. I believe this fragrance needs to be talked about more often. This is going to be Aqua de Parma Blue Mediterraneo Cipresso de Toscana. So... Cypress, I believe cedar. It's a really good fragrance. <clears throat> I I thought about it. It pretty much smells like Royal Oud and Sauvage had a baby. So Royal Oud, I'm sorry, Sauvage Elixir. Royal Oud and Sauvage Elixir had a fresh baby. Is pretty much what this fragrance smells like. Really nice fragrance. Uh, definitely recommend it. And I got it for a really good price. I think it was 60 bucks, maybe 70 bucks for this five mil. Um, and I'm glad I got five mils of it just because I do want this one to last for a while. Then I got the collection of Manceros that I got. So this is gonna be the Midnight Gold, which I said, it reminds me of the Gucci Guilty. Um, next is gonna be Black Gold. Um, I don't remember what I said this fragrance smells like. Oh, I said this fragrance reminds me of Naxos. Um, I sprayed a sample of Naxos I had. Similar, similar vibe. Not redundant though. I, I wouldn't say uh, redundant at all. I would say maybe like a fresher take on Naxos is what black gold becomes. Um, Sicily smells like um, Louis Vuitton's. What's it called? Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim. Um, 
So probably if you have afternoon swim, you're probably gonna find this one redundant just because it's the same or similar, very similar type of opening. Um, especially with the citrus blast in the beginning, which is something I do enjoy in the afternoon swim. Uh, pretty much smells like an orange to begin with and then it goes into uh well it disappears really quick so um it's kind of like a sweet type of creamsicle dry down if i remember it correctly uh, but this one pretty much has the same effect and the last one is the fragrance that i hated the most said it in my video now it is probably one of my favorite fragrances out of my Manceras. I said out of my Manceras, not out of my collection. So it's gonna be Manceras Black Prestigium. Um, I think the uh, reaction in my initial video is an authentic reaction. Um, smelling like a bad ombre leather with a Dior Old Parfum wanna be uh dry down but since then i do i have changed my mind um it is still similar to that dior own parfum type of dna um i would say it's more like a niche take on dior own parfum maybe it's kind of hard to say um just because it's in the similar family yeah, I would say it's redundant to Om, but let's say Dior Om Intense is better than this fragrance. Just because something's a niche version of it doesn't mean it's better. Um, you could just smell more of the, I would say, the ingredients that were put into uh, the fragrance. So let's say like the leather, especially in this fragrance, you can really smell the animalic leather. Um, that's pretty much what comes up in the opening. Thank God it doesn't last that long. It doesn't smell like how it smelled in my initial video, so I think it was just because it was sitting so long. Um, but once you get past that opening, which is definitely the roughest part of the fragrance, just because I do enjoy the fragrance now, I enjoy it in the dry down. I still do not like the opening. Um, but I, it's not like a dislike that I just can't smell it. It's just a dislike that if it smelled like that the entire time, I would not wear it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the fragrances I got for the month of March. Um, just a month recap, uh, me and Neil were actually talking about the fragrances we got for the month. Um, but yeah, what fragrances did you get this month? Please let me know down in the comments. Please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.